<laughs> Comics. No more waiting. We finally got to smear our slimy little eyeballs all over the first teaser trailer for Avengers Age of Ultron. No more satiating ourselves with fake movie posters, fan-made trailers hacked together from previous Marvel movies, or set photos that remind us that we're only a few million dollars of CG effects away from watching a bunch of dudes in kaiju suits. It is here, real footage from the real movie that is the real sequel to the genre movie Mona Lisa. We saw tiny hors d'oeuvres of action sequences, but not enough to spoil the good stuff or provide too much context to the action's order or place in the story. We got to see Quicksilver being quick and Scarlet Witch being Scarlet. We saw Hawkbuster and we saw Ultron and all of his ultron -y goodness. We got fades to black, muty music, and all the we could want. But the genius in this trailer is what we didn't get. We didn't get Vision. We didn't get any idea of who Andy Serkis is playing or any context what Baron Von Stroger or Hydra's role in all this will be. The trailer gave us Marvel addicts our hit, but it didn't let us OD. Because the truth is Marvel doesn't really need to release a trailer to Avengers Age of Ultron. They did that two years ago and they released The Avengers. And that movie's goodwill, success, and share of the pop culture awareness is more valuable than all of in the world. As far as the minutiae of the trailer go, we are bludgeoned with a bat of foreshadowing. Dejected heroes refusing to look at each other, heroes getting ready to chokeslam other heroes, a defeated and regretful Tony Stark and a broken shield all hint with the subtlety of a French kiss that the Avengers will be splintered and tested, which will stand in nice contrast to the relatively unchallenged team that assembled under extremely convenient circumstances in the first movie. Lastly, the trailer makes one point with thunderous enthusiasm. James Spader is going to be so terrifying as Ultron, your underwear is going to need to call FEMA. His voice has gravity and is engorged with menace, and Ultron's presence on screen makes the Terminator look like a Roomba. The only complaint I have is they seem to have given him very human-looking eyes and a robot face that was built to be expressive for some reason. An expressive brow plus expressive mouth minus nose equals... Robot Voldemort? That's two minutes of comics taking up your time. Peace out!